back to school night. My name is Miss Dolvin. I am a science eight teacher at Glasgow Middle School and I'm really excited to be talking with you all today. So, like I said, I am a teacher on the science eight team. Um, I teach both advanced academics and honors classes and we're going to talk a little bit about our science eight policies and what you guys can expect from the school year. So this is just a little bit about me. Uh, my name is Lydia Dolvin, Miss Dolvin. I'm on the Science A team and I love physical science. So Science A is all about physical science, chemistry, physics. And I'm so excited to be teaching that content. It's my favorite content. I majored in chemistry in college at the College of William and Mary. Uh, and so this is really the science that I love most. Also on this slide are some other things about me. This is my cat, Toby. Um, this is a picture of me skydiving. I like to try new things and go on new adventures. Um, I love hiking, traveling, being out in nature. And my goal this year uh, as a new teacher, not new to teaching, but new to Glasgow, is to learn as much as I can from this school and from this community. All right, so my teaching philosophy is that I believe students learn best when they feel supported and loved by their teachers. Um, I try to focus really hard on relationship building especially at the beginning of the year. Um, I like to give students lots of options in class and multiple ways to express themselves throughout the lesson. Um, and I also think it's really important to have clear expectations so that the classroom is not a source of anxiety, it's a source of security. What students can expect in my classes, um, conversation from me as much as possible. I like to talk to my students, um, see how they're doing, catch up on their lives. Lots of opportunity to move around we try to embed um, opportunities to move in every lesson. And really what students can expect the most from me is me working to help students in any way that I can. Obviously school is a two-way street, um, but I am here to support the students. And if there's a way we can figure out a plan together. Um, wow. So sorry, we're in school, so that's gonna happen. <laughs> if there's a way for us to work out a plan together uh, so that your student can succeed, that's what we're going to do. All right, so curriculum. Um, we go through a number of different physical science topics building on topics that are taught in previous grades in the eighth grade. Um, so we start, actually this year, we're starting with matter, uh, which is like chemistry, the periodic table, where you move through to energy, waves, and then forces and motion. Um, and throughout, we are practicing with different aspects of scientific investigation. So if you need to pause the video and look a little more in depth at this slide, this is an overview of the topics that we'll be teaching in this course. Uh, grading and assessments. Uh, so you might hear some different language used when it comes to grading and assessments. There's formative assessments, which are checks for understanding during the learning process. These are not typically um, graded in the same way that tests and quizzes are. These are more for us to see where your student is and what practice we need to do before we do a more formal assessment. Those formal assessments like tests and quizzes are summative assessments. Those are judgments about what content and skills have been learned. So that's where most of your students' grades will be coming from, is summative assessments um, and participation in class. We'll also be using lots of other ways like feedback in class, um, student conferences, all sorts of other feedback methods. Um, the main goal of grading and assessment, in my view, is to make sure that we're in dialogue with the students and on the same page about um, what needs to be learned and what work we have to do in order to learn the content. <clears throat> all right, if you all need any teacher support, um, my name is Miss Lydia Dolvin. You can call me Miss Dolvin. I'm in room F208 on the second floor of Glasgow Middle School. Um, this is my email, so please feel free to email me anytime. Uh, this is probably the best way to contact me. For your students, um, if they're able to stay after school, if they need extra help or need to make up an assignment, I have office hours Wednesdays from 2.25 to 3.25. If you are looking for ways to support your child in the Science 8 classroom, um, the best thing to do is to ask your child. So you might ask, what assignments do you need to do? Um, what do you need to do to complete them? What have you been working on in school? Places to check uh, for grades and missing assignments will be Schoology. That's our new replacement for Google Classroom where most of the assignments will be held. And SIS, that's where um, your child can see their grades uh, and other 
assessment data. Um, supplies for eighth grade science, the main thing is that we should always have um, pens or pencils on hand because we do a lot of writing. Um, if your child learns best with a notebook, make sure to send them with a notebook. Um, planner is recommended for the entire school just so that they can keep track of assignments. Another thing that's going to be very important is remembering to bring your FCPS laptop along with charger and headphones every single day um, because we will be using those in class trying to take kind of a blended learning um, perspective this year. So charger and especially headphones will be very important. All right, guys, thank you for watching this. Um, I'm really excited for this year. I think it's going to be a great one. Really glad that we have students back in person so that we can do these hands-on activities um, in labs that really make science great and fun. Thank you so much for watching.